Hey, and welcome to this training on the new Pixel dashboard, Pixels, how to use them, all that fun stuff. Uh, so today we're going to cover exactly what a Pixel is, how to, its uses, how to see the new dashboards that Facebook have released, uh, how to use that dashboard, then using your Pixel on like ClickFunnels on your website, and also and how to use Pixel Helper to make sure you've done the job right. So a Pixel is essentially just a one by one little piece of tracking code that you know, if you've ever been to Amazon, Booking.com, Expedia, all these websites, you've probably started to see and notice advertisements following you around the internet. Essentially what they've done is they've placed a pixel, they've placed a cookie, you know, however you want to call it, on you and basically tracked where you've been and then they also can send you offers based on that. The easiest way I like to think of it is if you had a crowd of people and you just went up to them and put a sticker on them, put a big yellow sticker on someone, that's gone and visited your website. And then as you start to see these groups of people, you'll see, okay, this many people, 10 people have my sticker on them. They've been to my website. Then based on that, you can have certain actions. You can track where they've been on your website. You can track what they've purchased. But you can also tell Facebook that you want more of these people to come through your funnel, for example. Because you can use it for two things, for a tracking purpose. You could also use it for the purpose of telling Facebook where you want people to end up, where you want them to convert in your funnel. So if you look at this funnel here, each of these pages has a pixel on it, but I can also with that pixel tell Facebook that I want a custom conversion put on this page. I want them to optimize my advertising for people ending up at this level. So I can give them those instructions through uh, the Facebook pixel. When I place that and I track those things, then I can do some really, really cool things with it afterwards as well. But just to start off with, you need to understand how to use it. Because some people can be overwhelmed with it, but all in all, it's just a little bit of code. Um, and I'll show you the new dashboard first, and then I'll uh, explain a little bit more on how we use it. So the URL, I use Business Manager. You don't have to use Business Manager. But you go to business.facebook.com forward slash ads manager pixel or um, just facebook.com if you haven't got business manager set up. So you'll be able to see in there all the stats of your pixel, how many fires it's done every single day, all that sort of stuff. Um, but what we really wanna look at is this new section, which is the analytics. Now your section may not look like this just because I've already been in here before, recorded a few videos. You may get some new notifications. But if we look at the, click on the analytics, this is the new funky fun part, right? That Facebook have uh, created for us. So. This is all just really allowing us as advertisers, as marketers, as business owners to get a really deep understanding of what's happening. Um, and I'll start with the most, in, like the fun part first, which is, you know, previously may have, you, you may have used audience insights or something like that to get more detailed information on your clients. But now what you can see is you can come in here and anyone that's hit your pixel, you can start to get detailed insights on their demographics their country, city, language, job titles, education level, relationship status, even down to the page likes that they've done. So you can see all these really, really interesting things here that previously maybe you weren't targeting Dream Motors or Richard Branson or Facebook Business or Kerwin Ray or Power of Positivity. You may not have been doing this before. So what that means is you can start to get really detailed analytics of people that are visiting your website, but only if you've got it on there. Right? So you need to make sure that you've placed this pixel on your website so you can start to capture all this information. Then you can start to really, really deeply understand you know, what type of technology they use, what sort of device, they have, what sort of uh, operating system they have on their phones or computers and things like that. And you can get into really cool stuff up here where you can tie in, um, I'll go into this one first, you can start to tie in log events and see trends in the purchases that people make based on their demographics and then break that down even further. You can look at retention and things like that and how long it's been since they've visited your website or how often they come back. You can build a funnel of through your pixel, which is a series of events you choose that help uh, you to measure and optimize your experience and then also improve the conversion rate for registrations, checkout purchases, whatever it is that you're doing. So you can build a funnel on your pixel and track all the steps along. Um, and now I know this is a little bit techy, a little bit maybe a little bit overwhelming for some of you watching this. If you do have any questions, just post up under the video. I'm more than happy to help out. But I just wanna show you the power of why you should have it installed. Then you can build a, a dashboard and you can start to see just this overview, which is 
kind of what they're rolling out. So you may already have this just in your dashboard straight away. You may just see something like this, um, which is they're starting to roll out for people. And you can see all these cool stats just straight off the bat based on you know how many monthly users, weekly users. You can adjust it to the last you know 24 hours, see what's been happening. It just allows you to get really detailed and really understand your target market, right? And see who's coming through, see what's happening with their ages, break everything down by brackets. It's just really cool, right? So for you as a business owner, as a marketer, as an advertiser, however you want to classify yourself, but you know, that's it's important. But this part, understanding the people that come through, super important when it then comes for your targeting purposes. Because if we go in here, right, we can always tell Facebook we want to create an audience, but we can also tell them we want to create a conversion. So what we need to do first of all is we need to make sure though that we have our pixel needs to be on our website or our funnel. So I'll give you an example of how I put it on click funnels, regardless if you can use whatever you like. The key here is to locate the header code for your website and then that's where you're gonna place this. So if you just have if you have someone that manages your website, just email them the instructions. Don't even worry about trying to figure it out. But if you use click funnels and stuff, it's super simple. So let's just say we use click funnels copy that code, right? Then we're gonna jump on here and we can make sure in ClickFunnels, there's just one spot. I think unbounced lead pages would all be the same. Just one spot, the head tracking code where you can just paste that in, just paste it in this section and your code will be there and it will put it across every page you have already. It'll put it across every page, same as on your website. So by pasting it in here now and then you know scrolling down and clicking save, I've dropped that pixel on every single page so that I can get that trackability, that I can get that targeting and flexibility and start to understand my audience like I showed before. But secondarily to that, if that's even a word, <laughs> um, after you can create your audience of people that hit those individual pages, but you can also then create that conversion with a custom conversion, which I always recommend where you can say, cool, I want only want people actually Facebook that hit this page. That's what I'm bidding for as my conversion. That's what I want you to give me more of. So if you get that URL, you can just paste that in here and create a custom conversion, which then allows you to tell Facebook, hey, I want people to finish here. That's where you want them to get to the end of. And you know, if you have more pages in the funnel, I always recommend the first step is where you would optimize for to get more people in to see how it goes. So you can then create that custom conversion telling Facebook, and you, you've already got your pixel on there. You don't have to do any more of these adding extra bits of code and stuff like that. Because you've put it on once, and now you know what that URL is, you can just say, cool, Facebook, create me a conversion of people that go here. Then when you're doing your ads and it says, what conversion do you want to use? You go, oh, cool, well, I want them to go to strategy call page or page two. That's the conversion I want to create. So it allows you then to get people going to the page um, after they've opted in, so you're telling Facebook, I want more of those people, right? Pretty cool. But we always need to make sure that we check. Once we set these things up, because it's very easy to do it, and you may have got one little bit wrong. So what you want to do is if you check your, whether it's your funnel page or your website, there's a really cool little tool called the Pixel Helper. You put this on your page, and you can see that you've done it right. You can see, okay, there's my Pixel ID, finishes in 5187. You jump in and double check pixel ID 5187 cool I've done it green light it's on it's working it's there and you can check that on your website and things like that as well so you can see that when you go there you've definitely got the pixel ID installed it's on there um, so it's a really handy little uh, little piece of um, what is it a Google Chrome plugin um, to have you can see it's got the ticks it's all good it's loaded um, it's all correct that's what you want to make sure that you have. So Facebook Pixel Helper, just a uh, Google Chrome plugin to have. So it's pretty important to make sure you have it on there because to utilize these new dashboards, it needs to be on your funnels, it needs to be on your website. And if you have that, then happy days, you know, you're off to the races. If you don't have that, uh, it can cause all sorts of, not trouble, but it's just, uh, you know, you may as well, if you have this information, you may as well utilize it then you can use it so you can look like those big companies like Amazon, like Expedia, where you can retarget people and bring them back uh, to your website later or you can get more conversions and all this sort of cool stuff. So 
this is just a short video to show you this new section, how you can utilize it, the power of the sections, and also how to get it and how to create either your audience or your conversion. So these are two things. If you want to just create uh, and you know track certain people that hit a certain page so you can run ads to them later, you create that audience. So for example, I might create an audience of you know all website visitors or people who visit specific web pages or how much time they spend on my website, all these cool things. Um, I create them as an audience so I could run ads to them later if I wanted to. So if they get to your uh, order page, and then you know you create one for people that also get to your uh, confirmation page. You can run ads only to people that haven't bought yet. Pretty powerful. Um, and then your conversion is saying, where do you want people to finish? Where do you want that conversion to end? And then asking Facebook to send you more people that will get to that point. So that's it for today. Just a nice little overview for you on how you can best utilize that. Hope you enjoy it. As I said, comment below. I'm going to post this on our website so that you can comment any questions that you have. Um, and then from there, uh, we can help you even more. Um, so if you have any questions, post them up. But otherwise, I uh, appreciate you taking time to watch this and hope that's helped you understand not only the power of the pixel and what you can do with it and tracking and whatnot, but also understanding this new section of analytics, what's really possible and uh, yeah, what's, um, what you can do for yourself and your business going forward. So that's it for today. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.